In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a profile or instructor contact information. And you're going to start out by going to the right hand corner and placing your screen in edit mode. Again, you know it's in edit mode when you see the two headed arrows. Now I'm going to put this information underneath. I have a button and it was a tool button that I created for, it's called contact when you create the button. Um, and I renamed this button to, to be instructor, you can say faculty or whatever you want. You cannot change this name contacts up here. So remember that whether it's faculty or instructor or whatever, behind the scenes in Blackboard it's called contacts. So um, you have a choice here of creating a folder or creating the contact. We don't need a folder. Most of us do not have assistants or multiple instructors. So I would just use the create contact. I'm going to click on that. Go through and fill out your information. Your in your um, phone, and then your office location. Now for. Um, the office hours, the next one down, and I'm going to cheat just a little bit here and do some copy paste. So bear with me. For on campus, you obviously know your office hours, but for distance, um, you could put by appointment and then just put a little note in there about your time zones. Remember your time zones if you're teaching online. Um, for your notes area, this is a great place to be able to put in that little personal touch, um, let your students know about your hobbies, um, your background, and give them a picture. This helps a little bit to combat the not being face-to-face, -face, although later on I will show you how to use Collaborate where you can do face-to-face -face or even videos. But it's really important to put your at least put your contact information in here and your picture so students can see who they're sending emails to. I think you'll have better results with them turning in assignments and with the tone of the emails if they know what put, can put a face to what they're emailing to. Make sure that you turn profile available, yes. Then I'm going to go ahead and add an image. Now again you need to put a JPEG in there and it needs to be 150 by 150 and I have one here already created. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and I'm going to submit. Okay, so now I have my contact information so my students know how to get a hold of me. They know how what my office hours are. They know a little bit about me, my favorite quote, and they have my picture in there. So that's how easy it is to create a contact. Again, I can go up here and click on the instructor button. Let me turn the edit mode off. And now you can see what, the, what your students will see and how easy it is to create this. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the CTL and we'll certainly help you with this. Thank you.